Hello everybody, I hope today is going great for you. Um, if not, I hope it gets better. Just stay positive and happy. And yes, yeah, so I'm gonna quickly hop into today's video. So <laughs> I just posted, or I didn't even post it yet, I just made a video right now before this one. But I have time because I'm going to work at 6.30 today. It's 4.15 right now, so I have time. I live five minutes from my job, so. But, so I'm wearing the same outfit as the last video I just posted. And again, we're in the same area. I feel like every single video is in the same spot. With my same home girl. I told you guys she was going to be in like every video, so. <laughs> at least for now. Right now I'm just doing like little videos. Um, if you're new, whoever's watching out there. This is my channel, my name is Alyssa Marie, and um, I'm just posting videos, stuff, because I enjoy talking to myself, I do, I'm just kidding. So like, I do enjoy posting videos and stuff. Um, I've wanted to start this channel for so long, and I'm finally doing it, so I'm just, right now, I'm just trying to do a bunch of videos to put out there, because I know when you start YouTube, I don't want to put anything good, good right now, where I'm only going to get like one view a day, one view every like month, no, I don't know, but... Yeah, so these are just my videos for now so I can start my channel. But um, but I wanted to do um, informative videos too. That was my, in the beginning. So I've done a couple informatives and I've also wanted to do story times. But last thing I'm gonna say before I hop in, this, I'm not going to um, do videos in the same area all the time. I wanna, I'll start doing them other places and do other things besides just sitting in my freaking living room, my empty ass living room, talking about who even cares, right? But um, I promise it will change and I'm gonna end up doing it. That's great. Okay, so I promise that um, I'm not gonna do these videos forever right here like this. Um, it'll get better, guys, it will. But I need your support. Okay, so I'm gonna hop into today's video. Today is another story time. Um, it's actually a story time about this little girl right here. She looks like a freaking centipede. Like, you know what she looks like? From the freaking, um, <laughs> The movie, uh, Men in Black, with that roach thing, whatever. This is her. Yep. Okay, I'm just kidding. I love her. But my story time today is about her. So, it's going to be the time that I saved her life. And I think that's why we've bonded so well. Like, I've had her since she was, like, basically a newborn. I was at a rough time in my life. I was living with my grandma at the time. And my life was literally shit. <laughs> Now, it could always be worse though, right? So, but anyways, I have really bad anxiety. I struggled super bad. Oh, that's gonna be another story time I have. This one's, that one's gonna be really good. It's tough to talk about, but I wanna put that out there just because I think that, okay, that's for another video, it's for another video. <clears throat> but anyways, so I struggle with anxiety and all that good stuff and I've moved around so much, bounced around from place to place and I, I, I don't like being alone in the sense of like, not necessarily I need a person by my side, just like I think of companion, like her, like, and it's just like in general, I'm really young and I live on my own. I don't wanna like, be, it'd be so quiet I feel like without her even though she can't talk, right? But it's just a sense of companionship I think is what it is, knowing you're not alone. So I've always wanted like, I've always, I love animals too, I love animals. So I'd always have like, I'd get a dog, every time I bounce from place to place I get a dog and then it would break my heart because I'd have to lose them because I'm going somewhere else where I can't have a dog, right? But I'd find my way to get one. And even if it's not the right thing to do, don't judge me, I was young, you know what I mean? But, so now, I'm at my grandma's, right? Not now, but in the story. <laughs> so I'm living with my grandma at the time and I was like, and my grandma's super strict, she's a little crazy and she, would not, she already has two little dogs of her own, and she would not let me get a dog, and I was a little rebel, a little badass kid, right, <laughs> through her face, I wasn't really bad, but I had a mouth on me, and I was really full of attitude, just because, you know what, I hated the world, I did, I hated the world, because I thought the world hated me, for, you know, but we're past that now, I'm grown, and I don't feel like that now, <laughs> I am very positive, and anyways, so, so you know what, I was on Craigslist one day, and this is where I've gotten like all my dogs. <laughs> so, I was on Craigslist and looking for a dog. I love big dogs, I love them, right? Love them, I said, not hate little dogs, I just, I never wanted a little dog, I, I loved big dogs. So, but I knew, I knew at her house, I, that 
wouldn't. My, in my head, my intentions, my ideas were that my plan, I should say my plan was to get a dog, a little bitty dog I can keep a secret no one knows about until like, when they do find out it's already been too late, she's not gonna, what, make me kick the dog out? She's loopy, crazy, but she's not that crazy. You know, she's not that heartless. She's heartless. No, I, I shouldn't say that. I should cut that up. She's not heartless, but she's an older lady. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. So anyway, so I'm looking on Craigslist and I'm looking at like chihuahuas and I do love little dogs, but I just prefer big dogs. But in this case, I'm like down to have something new. I needed my companion. And it's almost like a, um, a uh, service dog, right? Because like my anxiety, I, it's bad. And I feel like I cope better with an animal, a pet by my side. <laughs> So, and I've mentioned this in another video, like I didn't have friends and this guy I was seeing, we, the guy I'm seeing now, we would just like start, just started seeing each other and we, he lived further away than I did, he was always working, we didn't get to see each other like what, a couple times a month, like that was it. And so, um, so anyways, to the story, I got a dog and, oh no, I found her, she said at first, I found her on Craigslist and I freaking fell in love with her, she was so cute, like if I, if I still, I do, I know I still have the picture. I'll put a couple pictures somewhere. I'll try, I'm still new to the editing thing. I've said this before, but I'm gonna try to put pictures up here somewhere. I don't know how it's gonna work of her when she's a baby. So um, she was the cutest thing. Like if you look at her now, like her ears are freaking like, like that's Chihuahua right there. She's actually a Chihuini though, if I forget to say that. She's a Chihuini, cause like if you can see her body's really long, like super long. And then she's got like the Chihuahua head. But what I love about that though, is that um, wiener dogs are so sweet. They're like the sweetest, happiest dog. Chihuahuas are a little annoying. They're always barking, you know, loud. That's how they're known to be, I'm just, those facts. But she, the only Chihuahua she has in her is, she barks at noises. So like, that's, but I mean, that's almost any dog, but she barks a little annoyingly at like any little noise, she will bark. But other than that, she's so sweet. Like she's the most precious like, baby and I don't just, say that because you know she is she's really freaking sweet so um anyway so yeah so she's a chewini so i found her on there and her ears were not like this her ears were like like lit like that right there like she's not looking <laughs> they were so tiny and she was so tiny she literally was like the size of like that she could sit just in my hands like that not even feeling up my whole entire hands right so um again i'll put a picture i'll try so she was so little, I saw her and I was like, oh, she's so cute. She had a little like purple sweater on in the picture and I was like, okay. And I don't remember how much the lady was asking. She was asking, and at the time, again, a little badass kid, I didn't, I actually, I was working actually. I did work my ass off then too. I was, I was actually working at Wendy's too before I came here. Um, I was working at a different Wendy's. So, um, so anyway, okay. So working at Wendy's, made my little money on the side and I had, um, I had her, no, I found her, okay? Found her, and I was like, oh, she's so cute, I have to have her. And I I always, still to this day, this is one bad habit that I have, I jump into things, even in the back of my mind, if I know there's like a chance, because this is my thing with things. Things happen, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna jump into this, and then already have jumped into it, I'm like, oh, shit, like, I don't know if I can do this, go through with it, I don't know if it's gonna work out, but I've already jumped into it, okay? And it's such a bad habit that I have. And I don't do it as badly now, but I did it with something the other day and it just kind of made me realize I gotta stop that shit because it's not okay. But anyway, so I jumped into it. I text the lady right then and there, not even knowing, at the, at the time someone took me to work and stuff like that. So I'm like, how am I going to meet up with her? I, mean, I had this whole plan I was gonna have her come meet me at work before my ride was gonna get there to take me home so that I could get the dog. She's a little bitty, just keep her right. In my little backpack I was gonna bring to work. I was gonna have my ride take me home and then boom, like no one knows, no one saw the dog, right? So um, I had this one friend at the time, this girl that I, we just kind of became friends. It was like an on and off kind of friendship, but we'd never like, I don't know, that's not even important. So anyway, we were, I had her, um, so, I talked to the lady, I'm trying to remember. Okay, no, no, no I remember. So, she, I think my dog, her name's Hilo, by the way, I don't know if I've ever mentioned that. Her name's Hilo, that's also a different story. Um, her name is, it's like an I, I wanted something so different that not every dog has. Her name's Hilo, and it stands for, I'm, I guarantee you I'm pronouncing this wrong, I think it's Hilo, or Hilo, that sounds more right. But it's supposed to be like the biggest city. I could be wrong, it's something like this. I've researched it when I, 
found her name, but the biggest city in Hawaii, and I've been to Hawaii, I love Hawaii. So the biggest city in Hawaii, and I thought it would be like funny, ironic to name her Hilo, because she's so tiny, but, and I, I don't know, like I know it probably sounds weird to other people, but for me it flows so well now, like Hilo is just her name, but anyways, anyways, that's not even on the subject, on the topic. So yeah, that was her. Okay, so I found her, blah, 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 I told the lady. I think she was giving her away for like, or yeah, giving her for like 30 bucks, I think. So I was like, okay, that's, I can do that, right? So, um, and then I found, and I'm, I'm preparing everything. I'm not just gonna jump into this like crazy. Right when I talked to the lady and secured that, I talked to another guy on this app, I think it was a, um, offer up. And I found he was uh, giving away this really cute, which I still have today. It's this like light blue, baby blue, crate perfect size for her and it came with this like, really pretty pink bowl so i was like okay there we go got the cage got the dog we're good so i planned to meet up with the lady and the guy actually worked out really well actually worked out really well thinking about it i planned to meet up with them at the exact same time and um met up with them right next door to each other so i picked up the dog that was the plan to go pick her up get the crate go home and my friend i didn't drive at the time my friend was driving so i had her come with me oh that's okay sorry i remember now so I texted my friend, I had her, I was like, hey, can you take me to this place? Like, I give you gas, whatever, just take me there because I'm gonna get a dog. She's like, oh, she loves animals too. Oh yeah, like, that sounds fun, like, awesome, let's do it. So we did it. So we go and I meet up with the lady and I think it was her, okay, the story behind that is there's just a, um, a wife, a husband and their kids and their kids were just too rough on the puppy, which is her, so they were giving it away. So I was like, okay. So I get there, we're waiting. I didn't think she was gonna show. Finally she showed. We get out, we grab her, we're holding her, gave her the money, done. She was so tiny. So we take her and she automatically, she was, you know, a puppy. She's just met me. She's just kind of like looking at me. She'd give me little licks like nonstop. And to this day, she just, she's a kisser. She, like, she will lick you too much. So I go right next door, I pick up the crate. We get that and we head back. And we end up going to Ross at the time because I know Ross has, I love their pet stuff, and Ross has good deals. So anyway, so we go to Ross, and they let me take her in. They let, they allow animals now. I don't know if they always did it, but I just know now you can bring any kind of dog, and they don't have to be a service dog. They're just pet friendly. So anyway, so I have her. She's so tiny. She would sit in my little purse I had, and she'd just sit out kind of like that. So um, we go into Ross. I get, like, a couple things I need. Um, like I said, at the time I hadn't paid no bills, so I got to keep all my checks. So I just kind of like blew some money and blew some a couple racks on my girl. No, I'm just kidding. So I, um, yeah, I spent some money. I got her some pads, like uh, puppy pads. I got her, you know, food, whatever. The, the I went to the pet store right next door and got her dog food and they had a really good deal on like some really good brand food. And the good thing with little dogs is you can buy a big ass bag of food and it fucking lasts like a month. So if not longer, but anyway, so I did all that. <laughs> So I think I, we were going to get food right before we went home, me and my friend, and uh, still with the puppy, right? So I call my grandma, I was like late at night, I'm about to go home, and I tell her, I think I ended up telling her, I don't know why, why did I tell her? I think, oh, you know what? I had to tell her because I was bringing in a crate and like food, all of this, I don't know, so I, I guess that's why I told her. So I call her, or I think I texted her, because I don't do calls, because I get nervous. <laughs> I'm like, if we fight, it's over text, I don't gotta get yelled at. So I texted her and she was like, no. Hell no. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what she said. She was like, absolutely not. She's like, you need to get rid of that puppy right now. I don't know what you're going to do, but don't bring it here. And I'm like, in my head, already knowing, okay, so this is going to be a bit, I knew it was not going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be this bad. Like, I thought she'd understand. Like, she knows the shit I've been through. She knows some stuff. So I thought, like, and I don't get much. I don't ask for much. I don't do, like, much. I, at her house, we were not that close. I'd always stay in my room. The door shut. Everything's good right and I stay by myself keep to myself and her and I are just not that close and that side of my family kind of I don't know it's just like oh, okay that's a whole nother story I haven't even gotten to the point of this video yet but anyway uh, so yeah so then any okay so now um, I tell her and she's like you're gonna have to get rid of her already in my head knowing I'm not getting rid of her I'm not getting rid of her she's like my babies already I just got her but even then it's a little puppy I'm not gonna freaking ban her somewhere so I'm like, this is gonna be a whole mess. I'm gonna get home, I'll deal with it then. So I tell my friend, like, okay, thank you for everything. She drops me off, she leaves, and I get there. I, I think I get there and I think my grandma's like in the kitchen or doing laundry and, and it's all like right there. Like I'm gonna pass her going into the house to go to my room. So everything's all right there and stuff. And 
I see her, I don't think she says anything to me. I, I can't really remember 100%, this is such a long time ago. But I don't really remember, um, oh God. but I don't remember everything. I just remember like, I think she was there, she didn't say anything to me. I think I went to my room, got everything set up and I think she was saying like, I think she talked to me that night and was like, okay, she said uh, that night, she was like, I just remember something along these lines of, you cannot stay here if you have that dog. You can stay here if you get rid of the dog. If you keep the dog, you gotta go with the dog, right? So in my head, knowing her, I knew she's not gonna kick me out. She doesn't have any. And again, when I say I was a badass kid, like I just meant like I kind of made my own rules. But again, I lived on my own for a long, long time. I didn't have rules, so for me it was like okay to be like that, right? So I made my own rules. I was like, nah, I'm staying here. She can't make me leave, blah, blah, blah. Just a whole another mess, a whole story too. A whole other story. So anyway, anyway, anyway. So we're gonna skip past all this. Now I have her, me and her really close. We, I took her to the beach when I went on spring break. I had a whole traumatic incident then. I had to go to the hospital. She was by my side. And again, that's probably gonna be another story as well. But anyway, this girl was by my side. And I just, from that moment was the first time. That whole incident went on spring break. We became really close from that incident, like me and my dog. I just remember being on a hospital bed for, like I said, a whole, this is a whole nother story. But, and she was like growling at the doctor, it was so cute. And she was super young right then and there too. Cause that was, spring break wasn't that long after I got her. It was like a month after I got her. So she was not even, not even a year, not even close to being a year old yet. Okay, so the point of the story, I'm gonna say this. They told me she had her shots, right? Okay, so now I have her and it's been about a year. So now I'm living, I've already moved out of my grandma's. I'm moving, I live, Okay, I was at this time I'm living with someone else a friend and um, this is if you've seen my very first video I have my own place now and this is right before I got my place I was living with this person so living with a friend or whatever and uh, so I have her and you know my baby my girl she rides with me everywhere she goes everywhere with me she's really nice so one day and I okay and before we get into the video let me tell you a little something about her that we you can kind of know. So uh, she's, okay, every every morning, every morning never fails. She always wakes, and okay, she's the type of dog, and I think that with my anxiety, she has became, she's become an actual service dog to me because when I cry at night, maybe this is every dog, I don't know, but I know there's a bond there between us because every time I cry, like she'll lick my tears. She's super clingy, which I'm fine with, I love that. Sometimes it's annoying, but yeah, I'm just kidding. But she's super clingy, like right now. She's always she's always with me, by my side, on my lap. If I get up, because as, as a puppy, I have these videos of her, like I walk, she, she her little puppy feet, she would walk, and then I stop, she stops. Walk, she'd walk. Every time, I, to this day, I go to the bathroom, she'll, we'll be at my boyfriend's house, I'm on the bed, and she's on the bed, like she'll always, she has this tendency to get under the covers and just like sleep, and her little head will come out, and her one ear will come out, and one eye. That's how she'll be under the cover. But anyway, I go to the bathroom, I'll get up really quietly, and the next thing you know, t -t -t it's her coming into the bathroom with me, and she just, she's always by my side. So anyway, like I go to lay down, she's on me. And when I do lay down, she lays on me somewhere in my body. She's never, normally she'll cuddle me here, or like as a puppy, she'll lay on my neck, but now she's bigger, she'll like lay with me right, like a baby, she'll lay right by my side, or in between my legs, whatever. So yeah, so, and in the morning, she always has a tendency to get up. She'll, when I start to wake up, and she knows it, she'll jump all over me. She's really annoying, cute, like she'll jump on me, like she's excited that I'm getting up, and all this good stuff. She's always energetic. So now, this has been a couple months after I moved into this place that I was staying at with my friend, and she, uh, a friend that was at the time, it was like, it was a whole situation. That's also another story, if I ever <laughs> make that. But she, um, so one day, I get up, and I, is right around Halloween. So it's not Halloween yet, but it's it's October and it's, you know, that month. And uh, she, I get up and she's just kind of like, I don't know, she's just not doing anything. She's laying there. So I was like, I think the first day I didn't really think anything of it. And she, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. If I, <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. I don't know, it just hit me out of nowhere. I don't even know if you can tell, like my eyes are getting red. Okay, because it makes me so sad to think about this. But, so I get up and she's not doing anything. And, uh, so she's just being chill, whatever. And I kind of blow it off and I think she kind of does that all day. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh, okay. So anyway, I haven't really thought about this until now. I have not thought about deeply into the whole situation until now, but she, and like I said, this time me and her, her and I are so close. She's been there with me since. And oh my God, I don't do this, I don't do this, okay. Okay, so anyway. She is laying on the bed, and this is okay. So that day goes by, 
I don't really think anything of it. So now it's the next day and the same thing happens. She, I wake up and she's just like not doing anything. She's just being weird. And at that point I knew, I knew something was not right. And um, I would like, I would try to get her like, come on, let's run. So in my head, I'm just thinking, okay, she's sick. She had, like, something's not good. Like, but I didn't think anything crazy. I just thought like, okay, she's just sick, right? Normal dog sick. And I was telling the lady I was staying with, I was like, hey, like, what do you think? And and they didn't really know either. They're like, I don't know. She probably just, whatever, doggy flu, whatever, sick, right? And then, okay, by the third or fourth day, I know by the fifth, no, I, it was, I don't even think it was that long. By the fourth day, for sure, she was acting super weird she was like she would just stay by herself and she would just go she didn't want to be around anyone she wanted to and i know a lot about animals and i know that when a dog goes off to hide that they die right they'll go to hide and pass away because they don't i don't know why exactly i think it's just because their own instincts and you know whatever right so um she ends up kind of being by herself she'll go stay and there was a closet that was in that room that I had stayed in. It was just like an open closet. I didn't have a door or anything. And she just kind of, she would go in there and stay in there. And that, that really worried me. And I was like, oh my God, what is wrong with her, right? She didn't eat. She was not eating because she had the same bowl of food there for that many days. And that also was like, okay, I was getting upset now. Not upset at her, but I was just like upset, frustrated because I didn't know what was wrong. And again, mind you, I don't have money. I don't even think I was working. When I started this place, I was babysitting the lady that I was staying with her kids and she didn't have money so it was a whole mess right I wasn't working I didn't have my own money and so in my head I can't take her to the vet not yet at least because if I do go to the vet I what am I gonna do they're gonna do whatever they're not gonna do anything for her unless I have money right so that's why I get really worried is because like oh my god right she needs super help like I can't do that for her so anyway anyway so she's laying there on the ground and this is now I think we're the day of Halloween and I know she wasn't drinking water either because her bowl had stayed the same also I kept an eye on it once I knew something wasn't right to see if she was eating or drinking and she wasn't so now I think it's Halloween because this is the day that I remember m most more than anything okay so it's Halloween right Halloween morning Halloween, whatever early 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 and I was gonna get ready because we're gonna have our own little Halloween party at the house and uh, I was getting ready to do my makeup and I kept checking in on her like okay what is wrong with you and I noticed now at this point her skin was like play-doh like and I know that means dehydration so like you could like pull her skin right here like this and it you see how it like claps back claps back no. how it bounces back okay and same here like this part of her skin you see how it just like you know she's good but um this day you could do it and it would literally like okay it would like go so slow like this like and then barely it would like you see how it bounces it wouldn't do that it would go so slow like that if you released it it would just like play-doh it's just stuck there and so that oh my god i got so scared she was so skinny at this point but all she would do was like curl up in this ball she curled up in a little ball and like that closet she'd just sit there and lay there all day and i just didn't know what to do so now at this point i have an aunt that i'm not close with i've never talked to this lady but once but my other aunt that I am semi close with the one that kind of lives by my grandma at the time that I was staying with. So um, she, I talked to her and she told me to call this other aunt that I wasn't close with, never talked to, because she was a past vet. And so I was like, okay, let me call her. And she tells me right away, I told her just what I told you guys about the her skin and all that. She goes, she has parvo. And I was like, parvo? And I was like, can you cure that? She's like, no, parvo kills. And, and I had even went to the pet store, I think it was the day before, yeah, the day before I called her, I went to a pet store to talk to a, like a pet lady there to see if she knew anything and because okay and let me say this too guys I had called vets I had done a lot I called vets beforehand and they won't tell you anything they would just be like oh well you can bring her in I'm like okay well I don't have money right now for that just can you tell me something can you tell me what she might have and they get, what are you doing she's being so weird okay anyway so they told me that like you just have to come in they can't tell you anything over the phone and i like how they said that and then i called my aunt who was a past vet she i told her one thing all i said was she has her skin it's like play-doh she has parvo and i was like and you know how that was so quick to tell me that and something like that okay now i'm gonna like if okay like a family member they have whatever whatever has an emergency issue you take them to the emergency room you don't think about money cost anything right so she told me that she told me that there was a way that you can go to the pet store and okay here's how, how it works so you can go to the pet store and you can get medicine like home remedy type thing 
And so I go to the pet store, she said, you could try it. It's not for sure gonna work, it probably won't work, is what she said, because Parvo does kill 99% of the time. So I go to the pet store and the lady kind of laughed at me and she was like, yeah, your dog has Parvo? Oh uh, yeah, no, she's not gonna make it. And I was like, so okay, so I'm getting really worried at this point. It's all I can think about. And I'm kind of in denial at this point. I was, like I said, it's still Halloween, so we're, you know, getting dressed. We go back to the house and I'm getting dressed and I think I drank a little. I was just, I don't know, it was, it was really scary to me because I was loose, uh, loose, I was used to losing a lot in my life. Animals, people, like, I was just used to losing a lot. And so I kind of prepared myself, not really to lose her, but just for whatever, I guess. And I, it's just the point where it's like, what could I do, you know what I mean? what I kept thinking, I was like, well, what can I do in this situation? Because I just, like, I in my head, yeah, I can try what my aunt said, which I did. I picked up the stuff that I could find. The lady at that pet store did not help me. I had to go somewhere else and get it. But, um, so in my head, I just kind of was in denial. I was drinking and I was just getting ready for the party. It wasn't even gonna be a party. It was just like a little house. Like, we're just chilling at the house, listening to music. Like, there's a bunch of kids and that kind of stuff. I was gonna take the kids trick-or-treating, trick excuse me. And so, um, and at that point, I didn't know what to do, right? So I just kind of, I made her feel comfortable in the room and I just did, you know, my, go about the rest of my night and I just kept trying to not focus on it. And then, but, um, but then I did and then I realized, okay, so the next day, this is the day after. She's still hanging in there and, and I would be, so, oh my God, I just remember this night, like every time, okay, I, we were in the living room, everybody, and every time I was in there, we would just like listen to a song or whatever, those little Halloween songs, and I would go back to the room to check on her, and every time I'd be so scared that when I go in there, she wasn't gonna be okay, she wasn't gonna be awake, she'd be gone. And so, and also I'm just gonna pause this and say, if you don't know what Parvo is, please everybody, if you get a dog, get them their shots, because it is serious. Um, Parvo is like, it can come through the rain, like the rain can, it's like a, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, like a, a virus, bacteria, or whatever, and it can come, um, the rain the rain can wash it in and so and that's what happened in my case the rain washed forever so oh, okay I'm sorry I'm just getting so overwhelmed thinking about it it's so sad but anyway so I kept going on to check on her and I think this is the I'm super drunk at this point and I end up going to my boyfriend's house the same guy I'm seeing now so I call him he came to pick me up I think I or wait was I wrong I think no this is the night I think I went to his house and I told him about her and um you know, we just kind of talked about it. Like I said, I'm drunk at this point. I'm drunk, drunk, and I'm just, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore with my life. So I go home or go back to the place the next day, and I see her, and I'm just like, she's still alive. And at that point, I was like, okay, I, I'm sober. I'm thinking. I'm like, you know what? It, like I said, with the whole example I made with a person, if you have a, if somebody has an illness and their life or death situation, you take them to the emergency room. You don't think about money. So in this case, I was done. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take her. I'm gonna go to the vet. And we're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna, something's gonna happen. So I go to the vet. They don't charge me anything up front. They just said they're gonna take her, and they told me kind of what they were gonna do. And I said okay. And in my head, I wasn't like thinking about any bills. I'm just like, let's just get it, and we'll figure that in the end, right? So, so I take her. She's, I have pictures from the day of the vet just so I could like, you know, remind myself like what she looked like, how bad it was. So she's on the table, she looks pathetic, she looks so bad and they had to, um, they gave her a shot, she didn't even move, she just kind of laid there and took it and, or they drew some blood or whatever, right? And then they test her, for, oh, I'm sorry, for Parvo and sure enough it was Parvo and that's what I'm saying. It got rained. Rain had washed it in through the backyard and she picked it up. And once they get parvo, like I said, normally they don't survive. But once they get it, and if you're lucky enough and they do survive, they won't get it again, ever, ever. So, um, anyway, so, I'm trying to think. I just like lost my train of thought. Okay, so it is parvo. And she told me we got really, we were lucky she was still alive because most dogs do not make it past like day three. And she was already on day seven, you guys. It's been a whole week. And she said, the vet said normally they do not make it past two or three days. And the fact that she was already on seven gave me so much hope. I looked at her and I was like, baby girl, you are a fighter. You keep fighting and you're going to be okay. So they did that and they told me the only way, you know, like they leave, come back in. And when they came back, they told me the only way she was had a chance. The only way she had a chance. There was no promising nothing that she was going to make it. But they said the only way she had a chance was that you're going to have to get all this stuff take it home and you are gonna have to do it yourself so they gave they'll give you like she said it comes with like an IV 
um, what else? A bunch of like medicines, a bunch of medications, and she said it's basically gonna be like taking care of a baby. You have to be up at this time, this time, and this time throughout the night. Give her this, give her that, then give her this. Don't forget about this. Don't don't give her too much. Don't give her not enough, right? And then the IV was a part of the scariest part for me because like I don't do needles, I don't do blood, and all that stuff. I can't look at it. I can't do it on myself. Take it, whatever, right? But she told me I was gonna have to do the IV, and an IV, you know, is just a bag of like the fluid to hydrate her, the needle that goes in them, and then the bag that comes down. So they gave me one of my own, and they they showed me there how to do it, how to put it in her, and all this good stuff. So. And then, okay, so before we get into all that, um, they come in with the bill. She told me how much it was gonna be to do all this. She says, I ask her like upfront, I'm being honest with her. I'm like, look, I don't have that much money. Could you just tell me how much this is all gonna be and then we'll figure it out from there. So she comes back with the bill and it was $300 just to take for, basically to save her life. $300 to take home all this and do this. So I knew what I had to do and I just had to pray. I called my grandpa and if you guys have not seen any of my videos, I have my own apartment and he's my co-signer. He's like the one person in my family that makes money. He has money. He's um, He lives on a rent, like a farm, and that's how, like, he's a farmer, basically. And they make good money, I guess, so. Um, so I ha I would hope that he'd help me out. So and he's like my go-to. He lives in Georgia. And so when I need help, I call him. But I don't try to do it often. I've only done it, like, probably three times, like, majorly, majorly asked for money. And this is one of the times. So I called him and I told him like, look, this is so serious. And I told him, you know, I had to be like, look, this is gonna work. This is gonna save her life. Cause if he, he was thinking, he's more, he's old. He's an older man, he's my grandfather. So he's thinking realistically like, Alyssa, mom, am I gonna pay 300 for, you know, is she gonna make it? Are you sure? And I was like, yes, pop. Like this is the magic medicine right here. Like this is gonna pop her back to life. And cause of course I had faith. I had hope that it was gonna work. And she obviously look how far she fought now, right? So I go home, he, he said yes, and I was so freaking thankful. Like I was just like, okay, everything's gonna be okay. So he says yes, I pay for it right then and there. She gives me all the stuff to take home, and now it's my turn. So I have the bag, we hung, I hung it from like this, um, this thing I had in the closet, and attached it, I gave it the IV. I, you know, you can't be a sissy in this situation. You're like, your child, you're, you know, your best friend, like they're going, they're passing right before your eyes. Like you're gonna do whatever it takes, right? So I did it, and I, Oh my god, you guys, like, the next day, she'd already had looked so much better. I mean, her skin was obviously still like that because um, the IV's hydration for her, but it, one day, so. She told me by, like, day three, she should be back to herself, but not fully cured, right? Just back to herself. So, by day three, she was. She was back to herself. She was freaking running again. She was bouncing. And I, I was so scared that she was going to be, like, even if she would have made it, that she would never have been herself again. But she was completely herself. She was good. She was running again. She's eating. They gave us wet food to give her for a long, for a while. They gave me wet food to give to her, and she was eating. She was doing really good. And um, yeah, but that's it, though. That's pretty much it. Like she, she freaking made it. And at the end of this video, I'll put in like if I can find them, I'll put in the pictures of her, the IV, everything, because I think I still have them. But anyway, so yeah, she freaking pulled through, you guys. Um, oh, and that is why I feel like her and I, that was like the, how, what do we say? The, the not, I don't know what to say, but that is what, the cherry on top, dude. That's like the cherry on top of us. Like that, I feel like that got us to grow so much stronger together as um, a pet owner, like a best friend. Like, I don't know, it's just crazy, but it was, it was freaking sad like it scared me thought she wasn't gonna make it to a point but once we we're at the hospital i just had such great faith that she was gonna be okay and like i said by day three she was bouncing back to normal and by the end of that week i think she was pretty much cured of the parvo the all the stuff came out of her the parvo died she her skin came back to normal everything was good and yeah so that's what i'm gonna pretty much or at 35 minutes so and that's before I edit this, but um, yeah, I just, so for any of you guys that have animals, if like, okay, first of all, get them their shots. It is super important. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is kind of rare. I, don't, I think it's rare to get parvo. I'm not sure actually, but whether it's rare or not, the dog can get it and um, easily. It's just like, if it's in that area, but you don't know that, right? So just trust me, it's really important to get them their shots. And even like, not for you, I'm just, like for you as well, but not just for you, for that dog that, whatever you have that animal because it's so unfair you know it is but that's all I'm gonna say on this video that was my story so yeah I hope that you guys you know got something from it and 
I don't know, I just, I don't know, man. Life's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, get them their shots and just, if it's too late, if you see that happening in your animal or know someone else has seen it, take them to the vet, figure it out. Even if you don't, I'm just saying, in worst case scenario, get them put out. I don't know if it's that bad already because they're suffering. But anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and until next time, I'm like so emotional right now, just bringing all those bad memories back to my head. But anyways, I, I hope all you guys have a great rest of the day and stay positive and until next time. Bye guys.